Hi, this is Caleb Chamberlain from CH Robotics. In this video, I'll be talking about magnetometer calibration on the UM7 orientation sensor. The UM7 uses a three axis magnetometer to estimate its yaw angle, and when it's in quaternion mode, uh, the magnetometer is also used to help estimate pitch and roll. But it's very easy for the magnetic field around the sensor to be distorted in ways that prevent it from getting an accurate measurement and that affects the reliability of the sensor. I'll give you an example. The UM7 as it stands right now uh, has been calibrated. However, it's been exposed to distorting magnetic fields that have pulled the yaw angle off by quite a bit. To give you an idea, if you look at the yaw, pitch, and roll plot as, as it uh, shows up right now, it is, it's pretty close to the way it should be. Yaw is close to zero, pitch and roll are close to zero as I hold it here in the air. However, if I take the sensor and set it down on my table, notice that the yaw gets pulled off significantly and so do the pitch and roll. Why is that? Well, it's a wooden table, but underneath there's actually a big steel support that holds the table up and it's distorted yaw pitch and roll so that it's not even recognizable it's not usable now in cases like this where the sensor is moved into a distorted field there's nothing it can do to prevent uh, the angles from being pulled off however if an object is close to the sensor like say a screwdriver and that screwdriver will always be rotated and translated in the same way with respect to the sensor then we can compensate for those distortions in a way that allows us to get good accurate measurements um, even even though there are distortions and I'm going to show you how that works so we're going to use the CHR serial interface notice that there is a mag calibration tab in order to use this we need to make sure that raw magnetometer data is being transmitted so I'm going to go to data or I'm sorry configuration and I'm going to look at broadcast rates raw data. Notice that all raw broadcast rate is 20 hertz. So we are getting raw magnetometer data at 20 hertz. So I'm going to go to magnetometer calibration and I'm going to hit start data collection. While it's collecting data, I'm going to rotate the sensor around a wide variety of angles so that it can see what the magnetic field looks like in its local area. I'm going to make sure that as I do this I'm far away from distorting objects like for example the bar in my table and then I'm going to hit compute calibration so it comes up with a calibration matrix and a set of biases I'm going to write those to RAM and then to make sure they persist when I turn off the power I'm going to go to the configuration tab and hit flash commit and this command complete write to flash tells me that that's been finished now once I've recalibrated the magnetometer for local field distortions, I want to tell the magnetometer what to expect, what the magnetometer measurement should be when yaw, pitch, and roll angles are close to zero. So I'll align this, and this is a very rough way of doing it. Uh, you'll obviously want to be more precise, but I'm going to hold this in position so pitch and roll are very close to zero, as is yaw. And then I'm going to send from the commands window the set mag reference vector. Notice that when I send that, the yaw angle comes down to zero and it also actually moves pitch and roll as well because we are in quaternion mode. Now, as I rotate around, it behaves exactly as, I, as expected. I can rotate in yaw and it moves. I can rotate in pitch and roll. But again, if even with the magnetometer calibrated, if I set this down on the table, it will immediately start pulling the angles off, as you can see. And if I lift it back up, they'll start getting pulled back to where they should be.